Pulsar just released the Bruce Lee Limited Edition mice and there are two very good updates in these. And the obvious one is that they are now using optical switches on the X2s. This isn't necessarily an upgrade, but the click feel on the Bruce Lee Edition is now quite a bit better than for example what it is on my X2 Red Edition. The Bruce Lee Edition has a little less tactile clicks. Oh, I got a message, sorry about that. But the Bruce Lee, these clicks are softer, lighter, easier to actuate, and they are still tactile. I prefer these way over the KLGM 8.0 implementation because of the functionality, so they are lighter to actuate. Now, Pulsar has had quite a bit of issues with their clicks on the X2s with their previous models. I've only had the Bruce Lee edition for two days, so I can't really confirm if these have any quality issues, but for now at least there are none. So both the clicks feel very similar. The actuation force is the same. Uh, there is basically no side play whatsoever, very limited amount, but it causes no creaking, which is the main issue with side play in my opinion. Uh, yeah, limited amount of pre-post travel, nothing major. Overall, click feeling is very good for an optical switch. One thing I know that you guys are interested in about the optical switch is the latency, but sadly I can't provide you accurate results for now, as Pulsar's engineer is on vac vacation, and I can't sadly get the test point for the optical switches for now. I could just test the end-to-end -end latency with the L that compared that to the standard X2, but end-to-end -end latency results for click latency are just way too error prone, so I prefer interfacing with the LDAT and maybe this is the good place to show you how I do it. Or maybe not show exactly what I do, but I will explain my method. So I use the LDAT and I actually electronically measure the latency. So I need two alligator clips attached to the LDAT and the mouse that I test. Then I plug in LDAT to my PC with a USB cable. You won't see it that well, but I open this LDAT application and then basically this application records when the uh, actuation is received by your OS and then the LDAT has the information about when the switch is actually actuated on your mouse. So that's the whole pipeline that I want to test. There are no end-to-end -end components and the only variable is basically your USB pipeline. But my guess is that there won't be any major improvements on the latency. Let's move on to the second upgrade of the X2 Bruce Lee edition, and that is the surface finish of the mouse. It feels more premium than the previous X2s and much more creepy. I suspected that this might be just unit to unit variant, so I asked Pulsar, so let me quote them as to what they changed. So basically the surface finish, they mentioned that the surface finish should feel different since it's heat transfer printed with the matte creepy finish. And I will say that I can definitely tell the difference and for my skin type this is a much better surface finish than the previous ones. As I said it's much more grippy which makes it easier for me to get a consistent grip and it never hurts for the mouse to have a more premium feeling coding as it kind of makes the mouse feel more premium. <laughs> Those are basically the two upgrades. The price for this is 120 bucks. It seems quite a lot, but actually you get the super glides in the box. So for example, if you want to get the X2 and you want to buy the glass feed for it, this is actually a cheaper bundle than just getting a standard X2 that I have here and buying glass feed for it. So the price somewhat even makes sense. And of course you get a limited edition mouse and all the packaging and stuff is color coded for it so which Pulsar always does which I find very very nice for the brand and overall the packaging and stuff like everything just makes the sort of whole experience feel more premium than with some other brands. Even the extender and the cable are color matched so Pulsar just misses no details. Quite big changes, quite nice things to see from Pulsar. I know you guys are interested about the latency and I will give you those results in January as Pulsar's engineer comes off from vacation. So I can get that test point information from the PCB, basically the point where I attach the alligator clip. One more thing I want to mention for you guys and for Pulsar as feedback. I really really hope that you guys include this surface finish in all of the future X2s. It's a small thing, but it makes a massive difference in how premium a product feels. That's it for this one. My top 5 mice of 2022 video is coming very soon with very in-depth details. So check that out once it comes and see you in the next one.